Kevin Jeremy here online, KZOZ.com. I can't believe we're finally here. Really excited for this weekend, for tonight, as we kick off the 2021-22 NFL season. Week one in the Red Zone Challenge. Brought to you by California RV Outlets, Fred Bruin Realtor, as well as our friends at California Diesel and RV and Coast Electronics. We're giving away $1,000. A 50-inch flat-screen HD TV and a soundbar. All you have to do is pick more games right than the rest. We're going to try to help you along there. Uh, let's bring in from California RV Outlets, Angels joining us. Good morning, Angel. Hey guys, how we doing? Good. We're so glad you're uh, jumping on board for this journey through 17 weeks of picking. Well, no, more than that. It'll be 20. Some odd weeks. 23? 23 now? Because, 23 weeks, yeah. I think, now. Extra. Oh and uh, I call him the Central Coast Realtor, but he is uh, real-time. Realtor in real-time, is that right? Fred Bruin, everybody. Real estate in real-time. Real estate yeah. in real-time. I don't have that in front of me. Hold on. Yeah, hello, guys. Thank you, Angel. Nice to meet you. i got to bring in one nice of your you. 50 uh, notepads that you left in front of me here uh, at the radio station, Fred. Real estate in real-time. I apologize for my... Screwing that up. Fred Bruin. Hello. Hello, Hello. everyone. <laughs> okay. So, guys, what we do here is uh, Jeff goes down. He does a lot of work on this. He, he looks at the odds. He looks at uh, where the money line is in Vegas. And then he looks at the Red Zone Nation, and he decides which are the three closest games of the week. Uh, we'll give our picks there to help some people along, maybe some reasons why we picked uh, that way. And at the end of the season, we tally up who did the best and who did the worst. And usually there's some sort of payoff. Are we doing that again this year, Jeff? Um, yes, and it is TBD. TBD. Um, I think Fred has uh, decided to give the winner a house. Um, <laughs> and Angel has decided to give the winner an RV. Isn't that correct, guys? Wow. Well, <laughs> a monopoly size I'm gonna, house. Yeah. I'm, I'm really gonna. I'm gonna pay a little bit more attention to what's going on this year. Then, all right, let's get to the picks. <laughs> Uh, now this is interesting, Angel, because we've uh, we've spoke with Fred prior to the season. We learned that the Chargers are his favorite team. Who's your favorite team in the National Football League? I happen to be at the mercy of Tom Brady this week. Uh, I am a Dallas Cowboys fan, true and true. Oh, okay, Cowboys. Well, they'll they'll end up. They're, we're not picking their game this week because it's not one of the closest ones, as you. Mentioned, they're at the mercy of That's Tom Brady this week. <laughs> they are America's. They are America's team. Are you from the Dallas area? No, uh, no well, close. We, we have families from Oklahoma, and they were the closest thing to a football team uh, okay. on Sundays we had. Oh, that's nice. All right, Jeff and I grew up Seahawks fans. It was very brutal uh, for the first twenty something years of that existence. Uh, obviously, they've become a little bit better over the past decade. Uh, but uh, Fred. Yeah. You are a Chargers fan, correct? That's correct. And why the Chargers? Well, I was born and raised in uh, Southern California, and I was a Los Angeles Rams fan until they moved to St. Louis. And once they left L.A., I just went down the freeway and became a Charger fan. They're dead to you. So do you hate the Rams, then? I don't hate the Rams. I, I hated Georgia, but I don't hate the Rams. Yeah. All right. Well, that's where we're going to start today is the Chargers, your favorite, your team, a one-point favorite heading to the nation's capital to take on, I think they're still called the Washington football, football team. team. Football team. <laughs> they, have not changed, they have not changed their name <laughs> yeah. to the Pigskin Warriors or whatever else they might be uh, coming up. Um, we're we're going to start there. Fred, we'll let you go first. Who do you like in this okay. matchup? Well, that's an easy one. I uh, <laughs> enjoy watching football. And I hate it when I bet against the Chargers because now I'm not enjoying the game anymore. So I picked the Chargers. I've got uh, – I put all of the stats in a spreadsheet, and I've got Washington favored by about a half a point. <gasps> but I'm still going with the Chargers. Really? Okay. So you give it you, – why do you, – you put it in a spreadsheet? That's what – that's Yeah, what... I, I look at uh, points per game, yards – Gained uh, rushing, yards gained passing, yards allowed rushing, yards allowed passing. I look at the turnover differential. Um, and I throw all those numbers in a in a 
some calculations and come out with a score, a predicted score. You ever think about going selling RVs just on the side for Angel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe when I retire, I'd be happy to do that. <laughs> All right, Angel. No one told me I was facing. No one told me I was facing a ringer this week. I know. What's the uh, deal? He's telling us about spreadsheets and stuff. I'm like, uh, I just kind of look at the matchups. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at matchups. <laughs> yeah. But we're glad, so, Fred. You, so, uh, you dig deep, my friend. Angel, so, you, uh, we've you, got the Chargers and the uh, Washington football team. I think Justin Herbert only improves in his sophomore year. He's finally got an offensive line to give him a little trench work down there. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick's got some dynamic distribution finally with some weapons, but ultimately Joey Bosa is a problem. I think it's uh, Chargers 21, Washington 17. Okay. So Chargers beat the spread on this one. By the way, this game opened at with Washington being a one-and-a-half point favorite, and then once the money started coming in, it moved over to uh, Los Angeles. Uh, now they're a one-point favorite in the game. So, I mean, that's that's a two-and-a-half points swing. What do you like, Jeff? When you look at it. Yeah. Um, I I was on the fence on this one. This one's a total coin toss to me. But since um, Fred, uh, I'm going to try to game one on Fred, a cheap one on Fred. He did all the homework for me. He did the spreadsheets. He's got him winning by a half point. <laughs> I'm going to go with the football team. All right. Uh, there you go. You know, uh, the, the fact that this game is actually being played in the nation's capital uh, and it's a home game for Washington, the football team. Um, it, normally, I would lean that way because when it's close, I go with the home team. But there's something I just I feel that the Chargers are going to walk away with this one. So I'm going to go Los Angeles Chargers as well. And we'll move into the next matchup as the Seattle Seahawks travel to Indy to take on the Indianapolis Colts. The Hawks, a two and a half point favorites. What do you like? Who do you like, Freddie? Let me find the game here. I got to find it on my spreadsheet. I've got uh, well, my my point score for the game is a dead heat, twenty five point seven points each. Okay, but when I look at the offense versus uh, their defense, kind of thing, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pick Indianapolis. Seahawks do struggle on the road. I mean, I don't know if that's a terrible pick, even though they are a favorite in this one. I never like it when they're a favorite on the road. It's always pretty tricky. When they're the underdogs, it seems like they play a little bit better. Angel, where do you sit on this one? You know, I think uh, Russell Wilson is always an X factor. They've got a new offensive coordinator over there in Shane Waldron. Um, You know, Indy's got Carson Wentz in his debut, but the Colts secondary is just not, not that hot. So I think I'm going to go Hawks 27, Colts 20. All right, and we're even getting points. I like that. Uh, you don't you don't have to give final scores, but I do like it, and I, I like I like your I think you're right, man. I mean, the Hawks do have a new offensive coordinator. Russ was pretty upset with how things were ran last year. Obviously, the season started off pretty great, but they figured out the offense pretty quick, and that caused a lot of problems for Seattle. Uh, Jeff, where do you where do you sit on this one? Oh, I'm with the Seahawks on this one all the way. I think Carson Wentz. Um, it's good to see that he's going to be playing, um, but um, I you know I think he's going to have to treat his situation gingerly with the with the injury, um, and I think um, they've suffered some injuries in Indianapolis. I know they don't have T. Y. Hilton. I know they're missing a big component of their offensive line. And the Seahawks defense is supposed to be a little bit better this year than it was last year, and it was a good uh, it was a good unit last year. So I'm going to go Seattle on this one. All right, I never bet against my Hawks. It's just don't do it. It's going to be Seattle for me. Anytime Seattle comes in, boys, you can count on that. The Seattle Seahawks over the Indianapolis Colts as we move into our third closest game of the week, and that's the Patriots hosting the Miami Dolphins. And the Patriots a three point favorite in this one. Uh, Fred, who do you like? Well, you know, um, I was listening to you guys con- uh, conversing earlier about uh, the Dolphins, and I'm looking at my spreadsheet, and I've got uh, I've got Miami by a point and a half, so I'm going to pick Miami to win the game. Wow! All right, Angel. Spreadsheets be danged. Tua, <laughs> <laughs> he's a big game guy. Uh, Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, he's a tight end like Gronk. Uh, Mac Jones is going to be adorned from the sidelines with uh, Belichick looking on longingly longingly missing uh, Brady. I think the Dolphins uh, win this one and cover the spread three. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. 
Uh, let me oh, tell you where it sits so stuff, far. Man. He's studying. Yeah, we we should have had you do it earlier, Jeff. Maybe we'll have you do it now. Uh, you went lone wolf on the uh, the Chargers Washington matchup. Yes. Um, you went with the uh, with the rest of us ex- on the uh, on the Seattle pick, and now it's Miami. Fred, and Fred went lone wolf with the. Yes, Indian. he did. Yes, he did. Um, I I'm a I'm a Finns fan. They're my second team. I I love I love the Finns. I love everything the Finns are doing. Um, I I think that they'll be good, and I think when it's all said and done at the end of this season, um, there will be a battle for second place in this division. Um, that being said, Mac Jones was Tua's backup at Alabama. Who's the better quarterback, Tua or Mac Jones? We've seen Tua. We haven't seen a lot of Mac Jones. There's so much buzz, but the one, the X factor in this game, okay, is that last year's Patriots are not this year's Patriots. They get so many pieces back on the defensive side of the ball because they were holdouts last year due to COVID. I am going to go with Belichick. I I don't like betting against the guy, <laughs> I, and, and I'm go, especially at home. And I'm going to go New England. Now I could be off on this one, but. I'm going to go with the Patriots. And I, I think the Patriots win with a field goal. It's yeah. going to be a good game. I think it's this, going to be a good game as well. This, go ahead. This is the season Darth Vader in New England finally died. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Darth Vader is getting to your phone line. <laughs> I, I like everything you guys had to say about Miami. I believe that uh, this will be a close game. But there is that one factor, and it's the Belichick factor that I can't get away from. And I don't know much about Mac Jones. And I, I just know that, you know, all of a sudden they had their franchise. Well, I don't know if he's franchise, but they had their quarterback and they cut him. They let him go for this kid. And there has to be something there that we haven't seen yet that Belichick obviously does. So I'm going to go with the Pats as well. And so, and that wraps up our three games. Those are the three closest games of the week. Quickly, it, uh, Angel, what's, uh, what's the hot, what's the hot trend in RVs right now at California RV outlets? Anything that drives or drags right now. These days, RVs are just uh, a commodity. We can't keep them in stock over here at California RV Outlets. Financing is, you know, just like in the mortgage business, I'm sure uh, Fred can tell you, rates have never been lower. So people are getting a lot more RV for a lot less money, and uh, we just can't keep any stock these days. Yeah, COVID has driven the real estate market, people, uh, urban to suburban migration, while that also... COVID has driven the RV sales. I, you know, I have a trailer that I tug around, and it's hard to find a campsite because people have decided that they're going to enjoy the great outdoors a little more. Yeah, Check it out. It's fredbruin.com. And if you want to find out more online with California RV Outlets, what's the website, Angel? CaliforniaRVOutlets.com. All right, there it is. All right, we'll talk to you guys next week. It's the Red Zone Challenge, and it's brought to you by California RV Outlets. Fred Bruin, you can win yourself $1,000 from our friends at California Diesel and RV and a brand-new 50-inch flat-screen TV with soundbar from our friends at Coast Electronics. You want to play? It's super easy. Get to KZOZ.com and make your picks.